Hey everybody, it's Rothbard's Disciple here. Uh, I'm bringing you a video on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. In this video, I want to talk about the uh, lower market cap altcoins that I think are going to do very well. Obviously, I've been a very strong supporter of Bitcoin Cash. I'm not changing that support, but uh, the reality of the market is, is that you can make a lot of money with altcoins. And I want to talk to you guys about why I think Zcash is going to dominate 2018 and 2019. And I mean completely dominate um, it's got all the hype behind it it's a very good coin um, there's a lot of things going for it um, so let's go ahead and talk about that uh, so why do I think Zcash will dominate 2018 and 2019 it's a top tier a zero knowledge privacy algorithm um, really there's only two uh, zero knowledge privacy algorithms out right now there's zero cash and zero coin um, and I do think zero coin will start to compete with zero cash but or with Zcash, like Zcoin will compete with Zcash, but that'll come later on. Um, for now, Zcash has all the hype, um, but again, yeah, it's, a, it's actually a zero-knowledge privacy algorithm, so unlike Monero, like Monero, it's not zero-knowledge, uh, Dash, it's not zero-knowledge, so technically speaking, Zcash has better privacy. Um, the other thing is that uh, since, you know, uh, like Equihash, it, it, uh, as an algorithm, a lot of people think it failed because it wasn't ASIC resistant for as long as they sort of said it was. But even with the ASICs that have come out so far, like the mining for GPUs still hasn't changed. And we're basically like a month in from when people got their first uh, first miners. Um, so, you know, the profitability uh, is it's still profitable for uh, GPU miners, probably will be for a few months. Um, and I know a lot of people, you know, they prefer having ASICs. I'm somebody who prefers having ASICs, but there is sort of an okay idea for having ASIC resistance in the beginning of your cryptocurrency. That way, just random people can hook up their computer and start mining, and they can get some on their computer that they can just play around with, okay? Um, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but Equihash has proved ASIC resistant enough. Um, I, a lot of people want Zcash to hard fork off that uh, algorithm, but, you know, it's it's proved its purpose. Um, but then, obviously, yeah, Bitmain did make its ASICs, but you know, that's actually a good thing. I know the majority of the crypto community, you know, they hate ASICs, but that's because the majority of crypto community is communist. Um, and communists are idiots when it comes to money, so there's no reason to trust them. But, uh, yeah, the ASICs just ensure industrial level security because it makes it a sunk cost. Like, you can't use your ASIC for anything but mining that currency. So, um, you don't want to kill currencies that use that hash algorithm. It's more profitable for you to have multiple currencies that use them. Or, you, you know, like, or if, in the case of Zcash, like, it's, uh, if you run a Zcash miner, an ant miner, uh, if Zcash dies, you lose what you can mine with that miner, you know, so it's just, uh, or, or whereas with GPUs, you can sell those GPUs, so it's just a, a higher cost for somebody to attack the network. So these ASICs, they're a really good thing. The other thing you got to remember is that these ASICs, uh, they're actually very uh, low cost. So if you want to become a full-time GPU miner and you want to build a full GPU rig, uh, the cheap ones cost like two to three thousand dollars. The expensive ones can cost like five to six thousand dollars for GPU mining rigs. Um, the Ant Miner Z9 Mini is selling for eight hundred fifty dollars right now, and it's a lot easier to run a Z9 Mini than it is to run a GPU miner. Uh, just for anyone who's interested, though, uh, if you're running a an ASIC miner, it's a little bit louder, so usually, like, if you can do it, like, in an apartment setting, but you need, like, an extra room. You don't want this ASIC miner running in your room. It's gonna, it's, it's too loud. Um, it's not, like, super loud. It's like a, an air conditioning unit. Uh, it's a little louder than an air conditioning unit. Um, but yeah, it, it's around that. So maybe you could sleep with it. I just wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend if you have an Ant Miner Z9 Mini, putting it in an extra room. It'll more than make the money. And that's the other thing too here is that the Zcash, because it has a high block reward. Uh, this is something I've been talking about the for a very long time. Is that I don't think Bitcoin, even like Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, can get enough transaction volume to actually survive long term. I think they needed a longer period with a higher block reward. The good news with Zcash is it's got a very high block reward. So the profitability, the profitability on uh, ant miners right now it's insane um, if you're not like if you're interested in starting mining and you have the means to you know either you're like you either have an extra room where you live that you can put this and it won't irritate you know the people you live with or if you can you know just build a shed and have a shed that you run these ant miners from um, you know the profitability is absolutely insane right now um, and so 
that's what's really going to draw people in. Like, as much as we can sit here and pretend like, oh, if we just, you know, prove to people that Bitcoin Cash is the real Bitcoin, they'll they'll use it. it, it that has nothing to do with it. People use what is best for them, and if something's more profitable, they'll use it. So Zcash mining, it's a lot more profitable right now. So um, that's going to draw a lot of people in. Um, the other thing is that uh, even though like I prefer the SHA-256 algorithm, I think it's the best algorithm. I think like that all of this ASIC resistance that people are doing, it would be better solved just by changing the block reward. Um, and you can change the block reward and then make sure, like, part of the reason people say scream minor centralization is because since the block reward halves every four years, that means fewer and fewer miners exist and it, like they decrease at, a, at an incredibly rapid rate. But... Um, Anyways, uh, the, the Equihash algorithm, though, it, it, even though I would, again, just prefer to change the block reward rather than change the hash algorithm, because I like SHA-256, but the Equihash ha hash algorithm, it's lightweight for SPV. There's not really an issue for it. Um, the only issue that Zcash has is within the zero cash protocol itself, and that's that transaction times are like seven seconds right now. Uh, which is good enough for a lot of transactions and if you use some sort of banking layer you can actually speed that up just by having some sort of like you know uh, promissory notes like Zcash promissory notes um, so you could do that but uh, obviously you know it's a little bit slower than something like Bitcoin Cash but that's fast enough that I really think Zcash is gonna dominate and if they can lower that that'll be you know that'll be a game changer if they can get, get that down to below one second um, that'll be real big um, the other thing about Zcash too is that the only real competitor to Zcash is Zcoin and it's severely lacking in attention and that's partially due to sort of the way that the, the developer, like the mindset of the developers behind Zcoin, um, but let's go ahead and talk about that. So like I said, uh, Zcoin though, it doesn't have that much attention and that's because the uh, developers took a unique approach to marketing and this approach works so long as you have the best product, but the approach was just basically to be the small guy in the room. It doesn't really say that much, um, but just has the best product. And the, although I would agree that Zcoin is better than Zcash, um, it's not better enough that the marketing strategy, I think, will, I, I, I'm not sure it will work. Um, in order for them to make the marketing strategy work, they have to do, um, they have to do something big, and so I, that's why I think uh, Zcoin uh, has a chance to start dominating in 2019 and 2020. Like I said, Zcash is already dominating. I don't think you can really lose going with Zcash. Zcoin is more of a risk. Um, you know, there's a potential that they might not start dominating. But uh, let me first tell you why I think they will start dominating. The first thing you got to remember is that Zerocoin, it's orders of magnitudes, or it's, it's an order of magnitude faster than zero cash. So, like we said before, zero cash, the actual zero cash protocol behind Zcash which makes Zcash what it is uh, that's ten times slower than zero coin it's actually I think a, a, quite a bit slower than that um, but for zero coin when you send a transaction it gets there as fast as the signal can be sent with zero cash you have to wait seven seconds and then it's as fast as the signal can be sent okay so zero coin it's way faster um, and so if you want to be used as the global currency, obviously you have to be fast, and so that's a that's a real huge advantage to Zcoin. And with zero cash, like hopefully they can lower that time for them, but nobody knows if you can get it really that low. Um, and, you know, this is one of the biggest issues with money. You want your money to be fast. You don't want people to have to wait seven seconds while they're standing in line at the convenience store in order to pay. That's, that's a long time to wait. Um, that's a lot of wasted energy and effort by a lot of people. Um, the, the second point is that uh, Zcoin's MTP will start attracting the attention of the GPU miners, so obviously Equihash, um, Zcash's version of Equihash the, with the parameters they have, it's no longer ASIC resistant. Uh, there, there are ASICs out there. Uh, GPUs can still mine profitably on Zcash and they probably will be able to for a few months, so it's pretty GP, or it's pretty you know, GPU friendly and ASIC resistant, but uh, MTP is better, so all those GPU miners are going to look somewhere. Uh, they can either go to the other uh, Equihash coins like Zencash or Bitcoin Gold, which got 51% attacked, which, you know, if your coin gets 51% attacked, I don't know how it can really survive after that, or at least not go negative in price. Um, I don't, I've, I didn't understand that at all. Um, the other thing, too, is like the, the developers should have seen this coming. 
Um, so the Zcoin developers talked for a long time about how Equihash wasn't ASIC resistant, and the, the developers on Equihash, or who used the Equihash coins, didn't do anything about it. Like, everybody knew, but they just didn't do anything about it. And then when they finally did something about it, it was already too late, and because they waited for ASICs to come out, they got 51% attacked. So there's a big opportunity for Zcoin to get the attention of all those GPU miners and uh, focus their attention from Equihash to MTP. Um, and then the third point is that Zcoin's privacy, the, the privacy on zero coin the zero coin protocol is technically better than Zcash and you have auditability so the uh, the two protocols the basic protocols for the two coins Zcoin and Zcash like zero cash it's a good po it's a very good protocol but zero coin um, it's technically superior uh, the one issue with Zcoin is that MTP right now um, even though it's you know um, better than Zcash's version of Equihash uh, I think Equihash is still uh, better as a hashing algorithm because it takes less bytes that you have to that your SPV clients have to use. So um, that's one reason why uh, we're going to talk about uh, in this next point here. Unlike Zcash, like Zcoin has no strong fork. So like I said in the beginning, I think Zcoin needs to do something um, in order for it to attract more attention. Because even though it is slightly better than Zcash, uh, their marketing approach has been to just be the silent type. And the silent type or the silent marketing approach only works when you're be the best in the room. You know, it's only the the guy who's the best who can walk in without saying anything and just dominate and then walk out and everybody like recognizes his greatness. You know, if you're just average and you're, you're quiet, nobody's going to notice you. Okay, so Zcoin has to do something big, and what they have to do is they need to start hard forking. Okay, and I know people when they hear the word hard fork they're like no don't kill my coin um, you know that hard forks uh they're just experiments with dif different types of cryptocurrency. So what you actually want to use hard forks for, you don't want your hard fork to be contentious the way Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash did it. You want it to be uh, peaceful. You just want to be like, okay, so with Zcoin, we know the zero coin protocol is uh, superior to the zero cash protocol. Um, so why don't we create a version of Zcoin that uses Equihash just like Zcash does? Okay, and it can use both parameters, or, or you could use. You probably want to use the Equihash parameters for Zcash, so you start competing directly with Zcash and the Zcash miners. But then if Equihash turns out to be better than MTP, um, Zcoin can't lose. The other thing is, too, like you can, beyond just the Equihash hashing algorithm, you probably want one that uses SHA-256. Now, I know that, that SHA-256 is not ASIC resistant at all, but some people prefer SHA-256 for the, for the simple reason that it's fast. Like SHA-256 is fast as possible. It seems to be the best for SPV. Um, I prefer SHA-256. I prefer SHA-256 um, fork of Zcoin. But the other things, too, that you can try with forks, you can try tail emissions. Uh, you can try messing with the block reward chain, or with the block reward to change the inflation rate. And I know a lot of people here are going to say, oh, now you're just trying to, uh, you know, like, like if, if, if you're trying all these tail emissions and stuff, you're just uh, you're diluting the original Zcoin. And you don't actually, like a bad fork, a fork that has no purpose does not dilute the original coin. Like, people don't actually latch on to it. So it's only if the market wants a fork that it will sort of dilute the original Zcoin, but it'll be a positive dilution in that it'll be people saying, hey, look, I like Zcoin, but I'm just not sure, you know, is MTP the best hash algorithm, or is it Equihash, or is it SHA-256, you know? Should we have no tail emission, or should we have a s tail emission of, you know, just one Zcoin forever? Or should we just have, you know, a continuous inflation rate of 1% per year? Or should we link the block reward to the difficulty? You know, these are a bunch of different changes and if Zcoin started hard forking this and having it as part of like like the community or the developers on it like Porman and Ruben they would all collaborate and they'd say hey we want to have these hard forks done at this point in time or they, they don't even like Porman and Ruben don't have to work on the uh, hard fork themselves they can just say hey these are some hard forks that we want done for Zcoin and if someone else can code it like we'll audit your code and then we'll help you release it and it can become part of the Zcoin like community and then Zcoin could almost have like an index fund thing where you know, you invest in, you could invest in all the types of Zcoin, or you can invest in a specific type of Zcoin. But again, the, the, the reason why you want these forks is because these are legitimate forks. We don't know what is best. We don't know what the proper tail emission, if any, is best. We don't know what the proper hash algorithm um, is best. We don't know what the proper block reward is, like what the proper halving schedule, or even if we should have have a halving schedule. Um, we don't know the answer to these questions. So these are legitimate forks that... Uh, um, I think Zcoin should really adopt. And if Zcoin does this, like, what reason would there be to use any other coin? If Zcoin has 
like because you know e the versions of Bitcoin they don't have privacy. So if Zcoin uses their hash algorithms, like if there's a SHA-256 version of Zcoin, why would you buy, use Bitcoin instead of Zcoin? I don't have an answer for that question. You know, if there's an Equihash version of uh, Zcoin, why would you z use Zcash instead of Zcoin? The only reason why you could prefer Zcash, the only thing Zcash has going that could potentially be better than Zcoin is the hashing algorithm. So why not just, you know, fork away all the advantages of all other coins and then just say, hey, look, Zcoin's the best. Uh, we don't know which specific version of it is going to end up being the final version of Zcoin, but all we know is it's going to be one of them. So that's what I think Zcoin should do. If Zcoin does this, I think this will be uh, the biggest thing since sliced bread, <laughs> as far as crypto is concerned. Um, I don't know if they will, though, because a lot of times developers think that, uh, you know, they have to have one coin and just go with that one coin. Um, one other problem, I guess, that I'll just end with here, uh, that the, the hard forks solve, is that uh, there's this question of how will the developers be funded after... Um, you know, the uh, founder's reward goes away. Well, if you just create hard forks and you create legitimate hard fork, with each legitimate hard fork you create, you're basically just, you know, creating a new form of money. And then, like, obviously the creator will make a lot of money from it just because he'll be one of the first investors. You know what I mean? But uh, anyways, uh, that's my thoughts on why Zcash is going to dominate 2018. Like, it already is dominating 2018, 2019. Um, and uh, these points right here, this is why I think Zcoin, because it's technically... a it's technically better than Zcash, um, and if it starts hard forking, then there is no coin in the world that can say they're better than Zcoin. Um, one one uh, hard fork I didn't include in here is one to full proof of work as well. Like, you know, we already have a proof of stake version of a zero coin coin in Pivx, but we don't have a full proof of work version. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be more coming out soon.